Research conducted among children studying in and around refugee settlements in the districts of Yumbe, Arua, Adjumani and Isinjiro has revealed that over 90% of pupils cannot read, comprehend and divide at primary two level. Each teacher on average is teaching 190 kids. According to the research conducted by Tuaweza Uganda, refugee pupils perform poorly due to a number of factors like inadequate access to test books, high pupil to teacher ratios and language limitations. The main finding number one is that the learning levels in literacy <coughs> and numeracy are generally low and poor within and outside the refugee settlements. The report shows that in feeding, 6.9% of refugee peoples eat three meals, while non-refugee children were better off at 33.7%. In teacher-to-people ratio, each teacher within the settlements educates an average of 112 pupils, while a teacher outside teaches only 57 pupils. In pupil to test book ratio, 51 refugee pupils within a settlement shared one test book, while an average of three pupils outside shared one textbook. So what we are saying is that there is some kind of a minimum provision that should be there for all children to learn, but most focus should be on the learning itself and what conditions are actually needed to ensure that children learn. The survey, which assessed 4,156 pupils, also found out that Somali pupils performed better on average than all other nationalities, including Ugandans. Because, of course, we know that elsewhere, when you look at education and migration, there are communities that have been found to perform better when their children migrate, like the Chinese, the Japanese. But it, when you go back to read, you realize it goes back to their culture. There are certain things that families, mothers, fathers, relatives and the entire communities do for these children or do with the children that are facilitators and enablers of learning. Tuaweza has done so many reports highlighting the academic deficiencies in Uganda, but the status of the refugee studying children in Uganda is the first of its kind, mainly highlighting the need to revise the education framework for Uganda, not tomorrow, not in the future, but now. Andra Nitwe, NTV. Kampala.